This is one of more than 40 boats listing, sinking, submerged, stuck in the intracoastal waterway. And if you bought on the river for the view, it's paradise lost. This beautiful million dollar view and it's totally destroyed by these eyesores. Volusia County leaders have seen what residents and boaters see and have money now to remove 10 derelict vessels. Chopper 2 was over the river in the Oak Hill area as those that are considered the most hazardous to navigation and the environment were pulled out. This was a, a rare opportunity. It comes along maybe every 10 years or so. Jessica Winterwerp is the county's coastal director and says when Florida Fish and Wildlife released grant money to remove abandoned boats, Volusia County applied for and got $60,000 because tracking down derelict owners can often be futile. Some people will leave their boats and abandon them and scrape the numbers off so that nobody can claim and come after them for cleaning it up. In the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew, the number of wayward vessels increased significantly. Many have since been removed by responsible owners, but others have added to the burden. The county is not obligated to remove abandoned vessels and some governments don't. But you basically have to break the boat apart in order to get it out. Sometimes it's kind of in the muck and you have to take special precautions so that you don't contaminate the water. FWC works to find derelict boat owners. The dots on this map represent how many are out there in Volusia County alone. If officers find them, owners can face criminal charges and civil fines, but many remain in the shadows, financially underwater and willing to let this asset sink. As promising as this grant program is, getting nearly a dozen derelicts out in the next two months, officials know sometimes when one is removed, another turns up somewhere else. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.